Hello friends, welcome to Skill Upgrade Academy. In today's session, I will show you how to install Apache Kafka on Windows 10 and 11 step by step. The very first step is we need to download the Kafka. So we need to go to this particular URL. I will keep these URLs in the description section so that you can take it from there. The latest one is 4.1.0. We can but here I am going to install this 3.9.1. This is also latest one only. It was released on 21st of May 2025. So under binary download, you can see that we have a Scala 2.12. Here we need to download this file. You just click on this file and this will start the downloading of this Kafka file. So once you click here, you can see that it is started downloading of your file. I have already downloaded so I will directly go to that particular particular folder so here you can see that we, uh, we I have already downloaded this one you need to just extract that file okay once that extraction is done you need to just copy this one let's say I'll just this one is extracted file you need to copy this folder and paste it in the C drive. Once it is copied here, the extracted file, you just rename to Kafka like I have done this one. Okay. Now under this, you will see that all the files are available. So we have downloaded this Kafka one. Now second step is we need to download this JDK 17 plus version so for that we can go to this particular location to download that so 17 plus we can use any JDK version so you can see that this is JDK 17 so we can download this if you click here the download will start So this required sign in if you have account you can just log in with your account otherwise just sign up create account and just uh, log in with your user id and password this will start downloading jdk java file okay how can we verify once it is download is done and uh, installation so in the command prompt if you already have java you can verify that writing this java hyphen version so if you have any java previously installed you can check that whether the what is the version of that java jdk okay if you don't have installed no worries you can just download this jdk and it's straightforward just double click that exe file and, and it will just click on next and it will get installed that within within one minute once both the steps are done we need to move to step 3 so here we need to go to this config file where we need to go to that particular server dot properties file and we need to modify this parameter so we need to go to this c kafka config craft config craft and here you can see that server file we have so you can edit in notepad or any notepad plus plus also okay so here we need to change this one Like this c colon kafka slash log okay so same thing you need to do in this reconfig server dot properties as well once your changes is done save the both the files okay now third step is done now moving to the fourth step where we need to generate some unique random uuid that is required so you need to go to this particular location so it is like a bin windows and here you will need to open that so we will run this command in this particular location so once you reach to windows you can directly open command prompt from here as well so it will automatically take this uh, 
folder location and here we need to run this program run this command kafka storage dot pat okay so if we run this program this will this will generate a uuid that is unique id okay you can see that this is the unique id which is generated here right so you need to just copy this uid and second step is you need to change this command so we need to run this step 5 so here we need to just replace this one and we need to run this command kafka storage dot pat format the uuid which is provided in the previous one and click enter so as i have already formatted this so you will get a message like the formation is done okay now next step is we need to start the kafka server so if everything is all the configuration and the files are in place we will be able to run our kafka server and click enter now this will start your kafka server if all the configuration is correct okay so now our kafka is started okay that's how we can do this configuration for the kafka in windows 10 so in windows 11 you might face this issue w mic is not recognize internal external command in windows 11 specific only in windows 10 you will not face but in windows 11 by default this will be not added in your os so how we need to add this w mic in windows 11 so if you are facing that issue and you are using windows 11 we can fix that issue how can we do that you need to go to the settings open this now in the settings you need to click on system inside this system you need to scroll down here you need to see that you have option feature okay, here you need to click on view feature here you can see that we have added feature so here if you type here and search for wmic no feature added here so you need to click on c1 and then again here you can find that wmic so here you can see that we have wmic which is required so click on this and click on add okay so this will take some time to add this w mic in your os so once you add this wmic in your uh, windows 11 we need to do some other settings as well like we need to we need to set this kafka uh, path in our environment variable so here we need to go to environment variable click on environment variable here in the path section you can select that and click edit here you can click the new and here you can select the browse and so go to that particular folder where you have installed where you have kept your kafka so here kafka and then bin and click ok here those two things we need, you need to do for the windows 11 and after that you can rerun this again this one to start your kafka server then you should not face any issue in windows 11 now after running this uh, our kafka server is started and running like this we need to create one topic so let's test our kafka server is able to send and receive messages so first thing which we need to create a we need to create a topic here so again open another cmd 
I will directly go to that particular uh, folder and here you can type cmd. Just paste this command. So this will create a topic here. So after running this command, you can see that this will create a topic now. Okay. After that, we need to start the producer and consumer console. So producer is whose producer who is sending the messages and uh, consumer is who is receiving that message. So let's start that topic which we created. Okay, so this is the test one. The topic name was created with test. So I'm using this topic test only. And now hit enter. So now this is started. Okay, so, pro, pro, so producer console is started. Now we need to start this consumer console as well. So in new command prompt, we can't use that same one. So in new command prompt, again, go to same Windows location. Now this time, again, this will be consumer.bat. Previously, it was a producer.bat with same name topic test here also i am using topic test only and this command. so hit after entering this command hit enter okay this is also started now if we type here anything hit enter and if i type here anything let's say so you should be able to receive that you can see that so this is our producer and this is our consumer so if i say hello you can see it is consumer is accepting whatever we are sending to this consumer using this uh, producer also Okay, so that's how we can validate our Kafka is running perfectly without any issue. So that's how we can configure that Kafka in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Thank you so much for watching my videos. You can subscribe for more such videos.